straight out of Narawahia, New Zealand. Here's Mario. Mario Vlogs number 398 Stories. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, yesterday's challenge, lemons for leukemia, reminded me of a story my mother used to tell. My mother told many stories, in fact, very many stories, because she never really told the same story twice. There was always a little embellishment or a little change each time she told the story. However, one of the themes that she went along was that during the Depression years, obviously money was a bit tight, my mum was actually from a single parent family, just her, her mum and her a brother, as her father had died in the flu e epidemic uh, before she was one year old, I think, um, or very, very young. So... For entertainment, they would take some lemons off the lemon tree uh, nearby and go downtown and sit in front of the Salvation Army band and suck on the lemons. And this would, uh, well, according to Mum, would um, make it somewhat difficult for the for the guys playing their tubers and basu oboes and drums and whatever trombones by the look there and various little instruments and so that was mum's entertainment and uh, yet yeah, she often told the story of her and her cousin jack or different ones that would go down there it was like when mum told the story it was like a pretty regular thing that happened every friday night but I rather suspect that it possibly just happened the once when they went there and found a lemon on the way. But never, never mind. Let's not let the truth get in the way of a good story. And my mum always had a good story. So there you go. So let's um, have a look at today's, the snippets are from today's little uh, effort. Yeah, g'day. Well, I'm sitting on the front deck this morning. I've got the uh, the sun's uh, just rising up over there. Uh, oh, it's about 10, 15 degrees up, so maybe uh, it's about half past eight, maybe it's been up an hour or so. And uh, having a uh, good old cup of tea, my first cup of tea for the morning. And uh, just uh, checked out my uh, channel comments. Got a comment there from um, Yankee, who uh, has seen my uh, lemons for leukemia challenge, and well, he's 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 aware of that, or wait, awaiting developments in that area. And uh, he made a little extra comment about one of my throwaway lines, which was um, about plums for prostrate. So um, that inspired me to have this morning um, some um, some prunes. Prunes are well, prunes are plums, but not all plums are prunes. So um, yeah, that's. Um, just sitting here, just enjoying a bit of sunshine, early morning rays, and then I'll um, pop on in and start the work and get some uh, work done. Hopefully this lovely weather will uh, last throughout the day so that I can uh, get my class all sorted. And I look around out in front of me, I can see an array of high-vis jackets which means that these guys putting fiber in. Oh, the fiber's getting closer and closer. I don't quite know what this uh, all means, but anyway, got a little cage outside our place, which uh, will tend to indicate 
create some stuff for the activity over there. Trucks coming along with the fibre. Get it all in place there. It's thrustings up and down. Now this view here, which is a little bit of a wider angle view, where you can see the trucks and what have you in place, and there's the little cages, and I'll just pan around with the big, the big wheel over there, sorting that one out. Come around, and there's the big, the big truck. Ooh, Yeehaw! Gets closer. And here's Charlie come for a bit of a visit and a bit of a pat just to welcome in the day. Charlie's our oldest cat at this stage. He's getting on a bit. He's the only one that we actually chose. Um, well, all the other Nikki cho we chose us and uh, Aria, of course, belongs to our daughter who's staying with us at the moment. So Charlie's definitely the family sort of cat thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All well, good. Catch you later on in the day. And a bit later on, a little bit further down the track... Yeah, g'day. Well, I'm sitting here in the old RAV4 with my uh, survey class. Uh, the weather's, well, what we would call overcast. There's not much blue sky. And we had a few spits of rain. So I left it up to the students to make their decision regarding the weather. And uh, the majority, well, a lot of them have chosen to call it a day because apparently according to their to their telephones and all the predictions there's a hundred percent chance of rain at three o'clock and all sorts of other technological things that they believe but uh, my experience is that you stay on the job and see what develops and as it turns out we've now got two groups out here with gear that are getting on and getting their getting their stuff done uh, pretty well without uh, too much rain issue at all. So, um, yeah, an interesting lesson, I suppose, um, for everyone and, uh, and for me. So, uh, yes, very, uh, very intriguing. And uh, I'm uh, sitting here in my RAV in the middle of the field and answering questions and just uh, keeping a general eye on things and providing a place of shelter should it ever should it persist down well good all right so the west of the day proceeded uh, reasonably well without um to any any further rain and we got the the two groups got the work done and the job uh well the field work done anyway and the gear back in the shed without uh any event at all so uh bloody marvelous really so uh, that uh gave us uh to the diary i managed to get home with sufficient light to mow uh, side one which was good and it keeps the cycle going and uh yes we've got vlog 398 of course there'll be no um no uh challenge yesterday with well, the challenge because of the other things that went on so we won't have a look at the hall of fame today but uh, there is a, a challenge today and it'll be be a question so uh, that's good and a bit of a, a bit of a shout out coming up and uh, then I've got to make a, a video vlog for my survey week for my class tomorrow and do a little bit of prep and uh, then we're all um, I've got another little job that I'm hoping to uh, do a bit of work on uh, yesterday, in lieu of uh, mowing the lawn, I actually spent an hour in the garage, and uh, well, there's um, oh, maybe thirty percent of the uh, bench top is now visible, which is uh, 
Uh, great progress. So uh, making progress there in the garage with a bit of tidying and uh, what have you. So um, yeah, all good. Okay, so let's uh, just a quick shout out to my mum, uh, Agnes, for all her stories, entertaining stories that she told over the years. She's a, had a story for every occasion. Uh, Agnes Kathleen, AK, 20, <laughs> 1920. She was, she'd born in 1947, she'd be AK 47, but uh, she wasn't born in 1947. So, uh, yeah, good old mum with the story of the lemons. Um, alrighty, so, yeah, that's it for mum. I often think of her from time to time. And and, uh, and my dad as well, or PJ. Uh, pretty strong, solid character. Alright, now today's challenge is to name this guy here, who is, well, with his wife, he uh, founded the Salvation Army. So just his name, uh, founded of the Salvation Army, an Englishman, and the first general of the Salvation Army. So that would be uh, good. Uh, nothing to really to report on the Hall of Fame because we didn't have a question-type challenge. So, well, that's it. Thanks, everyone, for watching, subscribing, viewing, commenting. Feel free to comment. All good. Cheers. See you. Smash that like button.